Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, you guys. Okay, so after I did my live stream the other day, I went and I listened to Quavo's diss track against, you know, Chris Brown, because Chris Brown had dropped Weakest Link. So Quavo came back with his own diss track towards Fistopher Maurice Brown. Shout out to whoever called him Fistopher on my damn Instagram page, because I fell the hell out when I seen that. But um, so Quavo's response to Chris Brown was called Hoes and Bitches real clever but he did go in there he did say some real stuff he did have some like bars in there i did like it he also used takeoff's voice in there as well you can hear takeoff in the background saying things like auntie and on the chorus and stuff like that but um he made a lot of really you know good digs at chris um he said about um christopher losing his fight with frank ocean as we all know back in like 2013 they got into some fisticuffs um in a la parking lot child so they got into a fight he talked about people coming to his auntie house because chris didn't pay his drug debt and that's why his auntie was robbed at gunpoint at his house um he also talked about this basically being over karuchi which i had broke down in that live stream and then he you know he basically called him a fake ass michael jackson said you better it, beat it nigga so i liked it that part that was fun he also went on to talk about the fight that happened at usher's birthday party if you guys remember this was like two three years ago usher had a roller skating party and chris brown was upset with tiana taylor about um the whole they were supposed to perform at the grammys or something like that and tiana wasn't able to do it so they canceled the whole performance and chris brown felt away allegedly and so he tried to call himself confronting tiana and usher got involved and then later on usher got jumped by Chris Brown's entourage. Did you guys hear that Chris Brown just physically attacked Usher? Over the weekend, Chris was celebrating his 34th birthday party in Las Vegas at a party that was hosted by Usher. Things went from zero to 100 very quickly when he got drunk and spotted Tiana Taylor. Apparently, he was upset that she was at his party and demanded that she leave. These two have not been on the best of terms since the American Music Awards. If you didn't know, Chris was scheduled to perform a Michael Jackson tribute alongside Tiana, but she backed out at the last minute. And in the and the whole performance got cancelled. He drunkenly confronted her about the whole thing and then told her to leave. But Tiana just decided to ignore him because he was so intoxicated. At this point, Chris reportedly became irate and verbally attacked her. That's when Usher stepped in to try and defuse the situation, but that only led to an even bigger argument. It escalated to the point where they both stepped outside the venue. But unfortunately for Usher, he seemed to be going up against Chris's entire crew. It was said that they all jumped him at the same time. Apparently, Usher was seen walking around with a bloody nose after the fight so you know Quavo brought up a lot of messy stuff but I was definitely here for it I definitely feel like you know all of these beefs in hip-hop are definitely making hip-hop more exciting I really feel like the guys are taking a play from the women's playbook because like I said over the past year year and a half it's been the women really going hard going at each other you know what I'm saying coming out with diss tracks they're getting more spins People have not really been listening to the fellas like that. Their concerts haven't been selling like that. So I really think this is why a lot of people are going the battle route type of way. You know, brings them attention. Um, it gets people excited. So I was definitely here for it. So Chris Brown responded back to Quavo's diss. And this is what Chris Brown had to say. So Chris goes on to say, Google raps, that shit is poo. Damn, I was excited. That shit don't even need a response. Take off rap better. Then he says, come on, Quavarius. And then he has a bunch of tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Then he posts a picture of Quavo, basically with weakest link on his forehead, and he's in tears, okay? So Chris Brown was still throwing shots, but he said he's not replying back. Most people who, po who were polled on social media, I feel like between the two, I did like Quavo's diss. I thought he did come with some bars, but Chris Brown definitely ate. Chris Brown was clear. He was articulate. He said it with his chest. 
Like, he came with that Tupac energy. Quavo did good too, but I got more, you know what I'm saying, riled up listening to Chris than I did Quavo. And with Quavo, I had to like rewind back to kind of, you know, take in some of the things he was saying. Whereas with Chris Brown, you literally got what he was saying as soon as it came out of his mouth. You heard everything clear and crisp. So, so to me, Chris Brown definitely won that battle, but it was definitely cool to listen to both of them go back and forth. So now, Sweetie is also taking to social media and she's speaking out as well so sweetie says hopefully the model he turns into me replies and then she shows um a screenshot of quavo being in her dms a few months ago so she didn't open up the dm you know what i'm saying but she shows that he's still trying to you know what i'm saying i guess low-key holler at her um because in that diss track he said basically he'll take a model bitch and turn her into a sweetie nigga so that's what she's replying back to so i thought that was really interesting her response was cute so like i said i'm here for all these diss tracks if this is what makes people you know what i'm saying get up and actually you know bring some life into hip-hop i'm definitely here for it so now another thing that's really interesting so if you guys do not know earlier today joe biden signed a potential ban on TikTok. He signed it into law. So this is going viral all over social media. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this news clip really quick. They signed into law the National Security Package that was passed by the House of Representatives this weekend. And by the Senate yesterday, it's gonna make America safer. It's gonna make the world safer. Can I have a quick one on TikTok? Mr. President, do you have a message for the protesters on campus? I just love how he just walks off. He just walks off without a care in the world. He's not answering no questions. He's out, okay? He said what he said. So right now, TikTok is going to be banned if they do not sell. So right now, the CEO of TikTok is speaking out and he's really upset. So we're gonna go ahead and watch that as well. Hi, everyone. The show here, as you may have heard, Congress passed a bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban TikTok in the United States. That will take TikTok away from you and 170 million Americans who find community and connection on our platform. Make no mistake, this is a ban. A ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. Politicians may say otherwise, but don't get confused. Many who sponsored the bill admit a TikTok ban is their ultimate goal. It's obviously a disappointing moment, but it does not need to be a defining one. It's actually ironic because the freedom of expression on TikTok reflects the same American values that make the United States a beacon of freedom. TikTok gives everyday Americans a powerful way to be seen and heard. And that's why so many people have made TikTok part of their daily lives. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident and we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. The facts and the constitution are on our side and we expect to prevail again. Our community is filled with people who have found acceptance and compassion, offered inspiration and encouragement, increased their awareness and brought into perspectives, ultimately adding more delight and joy to their lives. All right, so you guys just heard what he had to say about the TikTok fan. So, you know, it's going to be very interesting. Again, like I've said before, I don't feel like China needs to sell. I don't think it's our right to try and control what another country does. If TikTok is that unsafe, ban it with no questions asked because the Chinese do it to us all the time. None of our apps work in their in their country you have to have a vpn to access a lot of our apps so maybe a lot of us will have to have vpns to eventually access tiktok i don't know but if they feel like it needs to be banned for safety reasons then so be it but i also feel like there's more to it i feel like you know tiktok's algorithm is a bit more fair to people than on the other social media platforms you get to run across more diverse people and i think that's because there was a lot of complaints like a two, you know two three years ago so they kind of cleaned that up um it definitely gives a voice to a lot of people that would naturally be pushed through the algorithm on other platforms um and you have a lot of people who speak a lot of truth on TikTok, you know and it's very digestible so i don't think it should be banned but if they feel like they need to ban it you know so be it but i also feel like there's more to it i also feel like america like the the government is also being pressured by um the music execs as well as we all know the music industry is dying the money is not money and hence why we're getting all these beef records and things merging with ai 
And we saw the first step when UMG basically took all of their music off of TikTok. And so I feel like because music, you know, is a form of money, it's a form of revenue, and they felt like, you know, TikTok wasn't sharing it fairly. So that is why they pulled it. And like I said, UMG is trying to start their own social media site. They've already connected and they're merging with Spotify. They're trying to do more with YouTube. They have a lot of these new AI apps and these new AI apps are supposed to be competition for TikTok. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what comes down the pipeline, but I feel like this is also why America wants to fall back from TikTok. They feel like this Chinese company is getting way too much revenue, too much money from American citizens, and that money is being funded to China. Whereas, you know, Instagram is dying. People are not on Instagram as much. I think Snapchat is still cracking for those who use it. Facebook is dying. A lot of people are mainly on TikTok, and I think that really bothers America. So you have a lot of these music entities, and I'm sure it's going to happen in the movie and television spaces as well, but they're all trying to create their own, you know, apps so that way they can have another revenue stream. They're going to bring it in as the guys of trying to help the artist and, oh, you know, the artists need more bang for their buck. But this is really a way for Universal and other music companies to get more money overall. It's not really about the artists. So I want to go ahead and show you guys just some things that are coming down the pipeline with AI and the music industry and where the music industry is trying to move to as opposed to TikTok. For so long now. So you guys just watch those videos. So those are just some of the things that are coming down the pipeline. So I really think that's why they're trying to veer away from TikTok and they're really putting a lot of money into AI and AI music and things like that. And this is also why a lot of these beefs are also happening because again, the industry's money is not money in. So beefs bring eyeballs and that is the real reason I feel that Drake used Tupac and Snoop Dogg's AI. It's once again to get people more comfortable and with the idea of I too can be a musician. I can literally talk to my phone and say, you know, I make this type of music, add a saxophone, add a flute. I can make instrumentals. I can make beats. I can be a producer. I can sound like Taylor Swift. I can sound like Drake. So I think that's what they're really trying to push because they feel like, you know, People got so enamored with TikTok, but now it's like, well, look what we're doing over here with AI. And that way the music industry can, you know, keep that money in house here in America. And so I just feel like it's a lot bigger than them just wanting to ban that app because of safety reasons, because it's been unsafe. Uh, Trump was saying this back in 2020 and they thought that Trump was crazy and they laughed it off. And now the sudden, now that the money, you know what I'm saying, is not money in and you know, America's struggling right now, they do not want the fact that millions of people are using this app. This app is making millions of dollars and America doesn't really see any of that. It all goes back to China. So I think that's really where the issue is. You just have to follow the money trail. So on that note, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. How did you guys feel about Quavo's response to Chris Brown? Who did you think was better? Did you like Quavo's this or did you like Chris Brown's? Me personally, like I said, Chris Brown, hands down, okay? Then also, how do you guys feel about Sweetie's response and Chris Brown's response to Quavo as well? And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about the TikTok ban? And do you agree that the reason why they're trying to ban it is more because of money and them trying to push people towards these new AI apps as opposed to a security risk. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading your comments down below. 
Feel free to share the video. Don't forget to like the video. And most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.